Hi, this is Judy. Got some very sad news this week. The first wild jaguar to be captured and fitted with a radio collar in the United States, and the only one known to be living here, died in Phoenix Monday night on March 1st. His name was Macho B, and he was the oldest known jaguar in the wild, estimated to be 15 to 16 years old. He was first spotted in 1996 in southern Arizona by rancher Jack Childs. Now from 2004 to 2006, Macho B was photographed along the border at least 52 times. Last week, he was accidentally recaptured in a trap set by Arizona Game and Fish and then found to be suffering from kidney failure, so they euthanized him. An autopsy confirmed that the bungled capture and sedation contributed to his untimely death. It is a profound loss and terrible setback for the fragile population of northern jaguars that once roamed so freely across the Mexican border. Only four have been photographed in the United States since 1996. Three years ago, the Mexican jaguar conservation group Naturalia estimated 100 to 150 jaguars in northern Mexico. Now, females and cubs tend to stay local in and around 10,000 acres of the only protected habitat in northern Mexico. And it's the males who migrate into the United States. And for the last decade, researchers have been trying to track these big dudes with cameras set up along known trails in rugged mountainous areas along the border in eastern Arizona and western New Mexico. The problem is that these routes are also used by drug smugglers who have stolen or smashed at least 14 of the cameras in recent years. Then there's the issue of the fence. Border Patrol is building a 700-mile barrier in the region to deter illegal immigration. The fence cuts off the natural corridors used by jaguars and other migratory wildlife. There is hope on the horizon, though. In a few weeks, the Center for Biological Diversity will be arguing its jaguar case in federal district court in Tucson. And this case was filed in response to the Bush administration's refusal to develop a recovery plan and designate critical habitat for the disappearing jaguar. If something's not done, then the only jaguars we'll ever see are the ones like this poor creature in the Phoenix Zoo. And while the Phoenix Zoo has some fine exhibits and some effective species recovery programs, this is not one of them. In fact, this exhibit is an embarrassment and should be eliminated. This animal is clearly under stress and they should either build a new exhibit for it or transfer it to a better place. And in the meantime, there is much we can do to protect these animals. Please contact Naturalia, the Northern Jaguar Project, the Sky Island Alliance, or the Center for Biodiversity for more information. I'd like to conclude this video with a slideshow as a tribute to Macho B and his magnificent species. The music is an Apache Indian chant that is sung to honor or praise. The Apaches were the Native Americans who traditionally lived along the Mexican border with Arizona and New Mexico before they were heartlessly driven onto reservations. So I imagine they saw a lot of these great cats. It makes sense that this song might have been sung in their honor. So I feel that it's rather fitting to play it here. Yo, hey, yo. Hey yo, 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 hey yo